In today's quick pen tip, we're going to show you how to fill a piston fill fountain pen that is opaque as opposed to transparent. And why are you saying, oh, what does that make a difference? When, when you see the ink coming into a transparent or an ink window, uh, or a transparent barrel that is, uh, it's much easier to kind of gauge, am I getting ink in the pen? But when the barrel is completely opaque, like this Leonardo Memento Zero Limited Edition celluloid pen, then you kind of have to take a little bit of a different approach to kind of figure out uh, how did you fill this pen? Did it, did it get ink at all? So what you would first do is you want to unscrew the blind cap you want to screw that counterclockwise until it does not go anymore. So we've reached the end here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the nib, we're going to submerge it up to the section in the ink well, and then we're going to twist the blind cap, which that's this part here, the blind cap. We're going to twist it clockwise until it then regains itself with the rest of the pen and it meets flush, so it stops right there. And what we're gonna do is we're going to see if it fills up by just kind of twisting back in the other direction. And you see how we got like a few drops there? It means we got some ink in there. But if you wanna make sure that you've got a lot of ink in there, what you wanna do then is you wanna put it into the inkwell and then twist it as the nib is in the inkwell. And then what you're looking for in the, on the surface of the ink is you wanna see bubbles. So at first you may see bubbles coming out, especially if the pen was completely empty when you do that. However, what I just did now is I, when I pushed it all down, it completely did not give me any bubbles whatsoever. So now I'm turning it back up, turning it clockwise, and now I should have a complete full fill. I let a few drops out, screw it back closed, and I take a little paper towel just to kind of wipe the excess ink off the grip and off the nib here and you are good to go. Thanks guys.